So here we are at the track that I coach at. This is North Devon Athletics Club and quite rightly, we're very proud of our down here. So let me take you on a quick route around the track and I'll show you what all of the markings mean on this track so you'll understand what they mean and how you can measure exactly how far you're running. Here we are at the finish and this is where you will stand if you're going to be timing someone as they come down, as they cross the line there is where you will stand. Usually where that stand is just over there, that's actually named a timer's stand and that's so that people can sit above each other so that we have one person taking the time of the first person, then the second, the third, the fourth, etc. This means many people can be on the line and time without having to squint. So this is our finish line here, as you can see this. And as you can see, we have an eight lane track, but it is a six lane curve. So we've got a, an eight lane home straight with six lanes. Now, that's not unusual because it can go up to nine. I've seen nine lanes and sometimes tracks can be as short as four lanes but generally they'll be six to eight now let's have a look at what these lines mean so the very first line you'll notice that each lane is 1.25 meters or thereabouts in width now this means that if someone's going to run a curve if you're in lane one this means that you're going to run a shorter distance than lane two so therefore what will happen is you will actually start on the first unbroken white line here like this not the green line here this is a line that is used for the 800 meters when running lanes so the 400 meter stagger is here so the first lane is approximately seven or eight meters ahead now it's important if you do decide to run your 200 meter repetitions and run from the 400 meter start to the 200 meter finish which is way over there in the corner if you do decide to do that it's not a good idea to start from the 400 meter start because you'll be finishing in 0.2 or 0.3 of a second quicker than that let's move around here so we've got some more markings there and these lines here are for relay takeovers that's what they're for so each lane there what we want is the unbroken line if we're starting from scratch there now you'll not see many mile marks as we walk around for this part so let's speed up a little the green lines 400 meter hurdle marks before you begin your sprint, always ensure that there is no field athletes about to run across and potentially perhaps throw a javelin. Be careful of that. You have priority over field athletes. They will wait for you, but don't keep them waiting too long or be discourteous. These lines here, yellow lines, these are for relay markers. And the, what happens with these relay markers is you begin here outside and approximately your 100 meters is approximately halfway in this yellow line this yellow box and we must run all the way through to the far end where that yellow line there is and we must exchange the baton between the first and the last yellow line in our lane now you can see we've got a back straight here as well this back straight allows us to run in a different direction if the wind is blowing too strongly outside of here be aware of hammer cages. Hammer cages, they will be throwing hammer discus shot, etc. Do be careful of these heavy implements as they're being thrown. This curved line here on the 300 meter mark, 100 meter around the track, is the start of the 1500 meters. Stay in your lane. Don't follow the lane outwards. Stay in the straight lines. Green line there is for braking when they run the 800 meters in lanes. Now these lane, these measurements here, I'm going to show you what these are on the home straight. And again, we've got more hurdles markings here. Ignore those, they're going to be of no use to you in this course. As we approach the 200 meters, you'll see that there are more relay markings here. And this is the 200 meter start. This is exactly opposite the 400 meter start and the main finish of the stadium over there. We mentioned before, these lanes are 1.25 meters wide. 
and therefore if you're running at 200 meters you'd be starting approximately three meters there or thereabouts ahead of the person in the lane inside of you you can see these unbroken lines in more or less a diagonal across the track there these are unbroken they have no other mark on them here as we follow the track round what we must do when we're running in the lane is we run close to the line like this but not on the line or crossing the line we don't want our foot to cross over the line it must remain inside of the line like this do be careful of small curbs like this on athletics tracks occasionally these track these curbs can intrude into the track area so you must be very careful of those Coming around here, we've got a water jump that is inside of the track. Some tracks have water jumps on the outside of the track, and these are really only ever filled for competitions. Again, we have a javelin run up here, so do be careful. As we approach the water jump, this is pretty much where we will start the 150 meters from. So the inside line would start level with the 150 meters here. And then if you went to the second lane here, because the curve is now only half the distance, you would step forward about two meters from the inside of the track if you're running in lane two, like this. As we move around towards the beginning of the 100 meters, we're going to come to what is without doubt the most interesting and complicated part of the track. Once again, we approach our relay boxes as we come to, around towards the 100 meter start. Now the 100 meter start, you'll see falls, no surprise, exactly halfway in between these relay markings. The relay marks are 90 meters from there, from the finish, and 110 meters there with the middle of the box falling here at 100 meters, exactly in line with the 100 meter start line there. However, if we go back, we can see that there's another line behind the 100 meters. Now this is where you cannot get confused. Do not start your 100 meter run from the line back here. This is the start for the 110 meter hurdles. If you make this mistake, you'll be running 10 meters further. And the line that goes back from here is just so that the athletes can leave their equipment as they move forward onto their blocks on the 110 meters. One of the things that you're going to be likely to come across is this, a do not train in lane one sign. The reason for this is that the inner lane gets heavily worn, especially in competitions. This can mean that it doesn't stay even or level. So it's best if you see this run in lane two and use the staggered markings as I suggested earlier. Let's use lane two to walk down the track and see what these lines mean. Here is the preparation line. This gives us room to put our kit down for if we are in a 110 meter hurdles. This is the 110 meter hurdles start and it does not intersect with the track that's how you know it's different when we move forward to the 100 meter start this intersects with the track in its main so we can see this is the 100 meter start here it's an unbroken line now you're also going to see these blue dots here these are for the 110 meter hurdles just ignore them they're of no consequence to you these lines here are relay markers. Now we move forward and the next line we're going to come to is the 80 meter line. There is no 90 meter line on a track. This is the 80 meter line here. And again, it is unbroken and unmarked. When we move forward to the 75 meter line, we will see green marks. This is so that the beginning of the 75 meter hurdles can position the hurdles on the green marks. We move forward now to the 70 meter line. The 70 meter line is denoted in yellow. This is always consistent on all tracks. And we can see there further forward, we can see as we come forward, that yellow line is going to be the first mark of the 70 meter hurdle. So the first hurdle will be presented there. Then we move forward and the black line here, you can see the black inside of the white is always the 60 meter line. 
There's only one more line after this that we need to concern ourselves with before we get to the end. And this is again an unbroken line. And this is a 50 meter line here. And this is for junior racers. Again, unbroken because it doesn't need to be used for hurdles. Then as we go forward, we find another curved line. This is for the start of the steeplechase because the steeplechase will not start from a normal line because it is inside of the track. So it's going to have to be that little bit further. Then we come towards these. These blue lines are for the four by 400 meter takeover. And this line, interestingly enough, nine meters precisely back from the finish line is for the start of the one mile race, which is not four laps, but four laps and nine meters. So it's 1,609 meters. And then we come back here to the finish line. So that is the lines of a track and how you know how far you're running.